أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأخذة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد I welcome all of you to this week's episode of the Persian English Dawa with Khidr Ibrahim and inshallah today we're going to look on the sunnah of entering the bathroom so amongst the sunnah of entering the bathroom, the first one we say, as they enter the bathroom, make we remember Allah, make we read the dua when they enter the bathroom. For Jamia Trimidhi, hadith number six, he say, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went the bathroom, in they read the dua. In go say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubsi wal khabais. He say, oh Allah, I seek refuge in you against khubs and khabais, the male and female devil. So the first thing we will do now to seek refuge with Allah from against the devil. Then the second one, make you enter the bathroom with your left foot. On top of this issue, do not get any specific hadith when it talks to me you enter the bathroom with your left foot. But we don't know according to the different traditions of the Prophet say then they use the right to do good things like eating and drinking. And they use a left, they do things like purification. The right, they represent elegance. And the left, they represent things when they're elegant. So according to the hadith for Sunnah Abu Dawood, hadith 32, where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the third thing they use a right to they chop food. And they use the left hand to they do other things. Then also for Sahih al-Bukhari, at is four to six, where Aisha radiallahu anha interested the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in they start everything from the right. That is for the good things. Whenever anyone do any good purpose like eating or drinking, and in they use the left hand till they wash, like if, if you use toilet finish. So based on all this evidence. You could maybe see with the enter toilet with the left with the left leg. Then the third one we say make we urinate while sitting or squatting. Make we not stand the oh. urinate. Sunan Nasai had this 29. Aisha radiallahu anha in toxi. Whoever tell Nasi Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in the stand the urinate, say we could not believe that person. For in no the ever stand the urinate, now squat in the squat. The fourth one we say, if you the urinate, make you not carry yourself, go the face kibla, or make you carry your back the face kibla. For Sahih Muslim, at this 265, we have a rare talk say, if person is squat the urinate, make you no face kibla, or make you back kibla. Then also, for Sunan Nasai, at this, at this 21, a Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talk, he say, make person you know the squat the face if you they urinate or defecate make you know the face kibla and make you know the back kibla instead make you face the east or the west In the fifth one we say if you they urinate make you know hold your private part or make you know use your right hand to clean yourself for Sahih al-Bukhari at this 154 a prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talks say if not they urinate Make una no hold una male private part and make una no use una right hand to clean up. The sixth one be say if you they urinate, make you go far away from where people go see you. Mughayra bin Shoba in narrate say once the Prophet he and Prophet Muhammad they on the journey. Now Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can say, Oh Mughayra, he say take this container. Now he take her. Now Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can go far far place where Nobody go for see him. He come out from their sight. See nobody fish him. And in the way Syria cloak. This hadith now for Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith 363. Allah.